Okay, everybody. Uh, so now that that's through exporting out, uh, what I've got here is let's go under. This is my all my high quality footage. If you've got it labeled red footage, you can call it like high quality footage or whatever you want to call it. But I put the effects in there. So everything high quality is in here. This is the full resolution, uh, full high quality Apple ProRes 4444 uh, files in here that are going to be uh, color graded later on. And then under our resolve proxies here, I've got my uh, footage. Uh, footage that was used for editing the film and then I've got a folder under here See, and I probably could have organized this a little bit better and just put this called this like regular footage I could have put this as like um, a Card one and card two if I wanted to organize it that way like I did which they typically would do on a larger project But since it's a short film, it's not that bad and then I've got the folder with the final uh, proxy effects So here's my in premiere here. I've got my edit done. I'm going to grab my um, Proxy footage and drop in here. These are the prox proxy effects effect files here and uh, the first one is going to fit perfectly. It's the same uh, length as this original one right here. That's a stabilize right there. So I'm going to grab the stabilize, drag it. Oh, and one thing I do recommend doing uh, before you, you replace these with effect shots, I would recommend duplicating your timeline. Right click on it, duplicate it, and uh, we'll call this, I'm going to call this uh, for color grading. So we know that this is the one that's going to have the final effects in it. It's going to have everything finalized in it. It's going to be prepped for for special. It's going to be prepped for color grading. So now I'm going to double click on this one. Then I've got my original timeline if I need to refer to it for some reason. But here's my one that I'm going to be using for color grading. So I'm going to grab my effects here. I'm going to grab the stabilize, and this should replace this thing just perfectly. See how it's the same length, and I can just grab that. I'm going to option arrow it down and replace my original clip there. And then I'm going to go to the end, and this one was edited. This one I re-edited it, so it cuts from this wide shot where she jumps here, and then it cuts to the close-up. And these are two effect shots here. So I'm, this I'm actually going to have to edit a little bit because the the effect shots were edited down to uh, giving me a little bit of handles here, which is kind of nice because I, I did change up the edit a little bit. So I'm going to grab the wide shot here and find the exact same timing here when she jumps there. Let me see where this one cuts off. Let me see the exact frame. I'm going to arrow down, arrow back one frame here, and go back into this a couple frames here. And her hands are coming down, and right there, they're like just barely above the handle is where the out point on this is. Oh, wait, no, last frame. Her hands are barely, barely touch the couch. So I'm going to get on the exact same frame here to match my edit. She jumps, puts her hands down. See, and this, if this was the exact same length, it'd just pop, pop right in there, but I kind of changed the edit a little bit. So I'm going to do O for out point. And I'm going to do what's called a three-point edit here, which I can, I can do. Uh, I'm going to go. In, I've got an out point. I've I've left my in point open. There's no there's no in point on this, so that's one point. I'm going to go down to my timeline. I'm going to arrow back one frame. I'm going to get right on the last frame, visual frame of this edit, which is right there. O for out point. Go to the beginning of it and put an I for in point. That's three three points there. What it's going to do is going to take this out point, line it up with this out point, and it will uh, back time it to hit this in point, and it should be the exact same length. So let's hit period, drop that in, and now this is replaced with the effect tab. So I period to drop, hit period to drop that in, and and perfect. And now this one, this one I need to find on the close up here. Let's replace it with a close up here, and uh, I'm just gonna get it to where this was exploding right about there, so it'll transition into it. So I for endpoint, and let's just grab that and drag it down inside, right there. And it's got a little bit of handles on it here. Gonna drag that, trim that backwards to meet the timeline length. Let's play through that and see how the edit looks. That needs to be moved over a little bit, maybe about like right there. The timing's a little off, so maybe let's try that, see how that looks. And that looked pretty good there. Okay. So now we have all of our effect shots in the timeline. Drop that down there. There we go. So we have all the effects in there. Now now this is ready. Th this could go to color grading right now, but there's a couple more things we're going to do. I'm going to add a title. I'm going to put things like, uh, let, let's, let's go to the beginning here, and we're going to do a fade in, Command D. So I'm going to put a fade in at the, at the beginning, and we're going to put a fade in at the a fade out at the end. So Command D at the end. So she jumps and then fades out. Okay, fades in at the beginning. So a couple other things I'm going to do here before it sends the color. I'm going to get my project completely finished. And a couple things I might do is I might add some black at the beginning and the video. So I'm going to go down and do a new item, and I'm going to go black video. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to double click on my black video and I'm going to type on my numpad. I'm going to hit three, period, enter, and to get three seconds of, uh, of black video. I'm going to go over out point and I'm going to hit comma to drop that in and insert it at the beginning. Down on my timeline, shift three to jump to my timeline, go to the end and do another period or comma at the end and drop black, three seconds of black at the end. So now it plays for three seconds of black and the movie fades in. 
and then at the end it fades out and there's three seconds of black. Now what this is called here, you gotta be aware of this, this is a generator. This is a, an in-software generator, which basically means uh, Premiere Pro only understands that. Uh, if I take, if I export this out and try to get it into Resolve, Resolve will say, what the heck is that? It won't, will not know what the black video is. So what I've gotta do is make a movie file out of my black video and put it into my folder where, uh, now the thing you got to be aware of is if I want to maintain like a higher a higher resolution, if I decide that I want not just like a 2K export of my movie, but I want like a 4K version of my movie, um, what this is going to do here, th this is now dropped inside of this uh, timeline that is a 2K uh, timeline. It's 2048 by 1080. If I wanted a larger scale item, I I'm going to need black video that is that same scale for my my up up res. So I'm just going to make a big one. Uh, uh, what I'm going to do the kind of the same thing that I did in here, uh, that I did in that I did in After Effects. I'm going to double click on my black video. Here it is, uh, three three minutes, and this is the tw this one is 2048 by 1080. Here it is right here, and let, let's let's create a new one. I'm going to go. I'm going to make two black videos that we're going to export out as movies. One is going to be 2048 by 1080, and the other one is going to be we're going to we're going to do double that size. So we have a 4K version. Double that size, 2048 times two is 4096. So I'm going to make this 4096, and then 1080 times 2 is 2160, so 2160. So we've doubled the size of that. So if we need to do a 4K one, so, so we're going to have a proxy one, basically, and a high-quality one. I'm going to hit OK, and I can name these here and say 4K, and we can call this one. So I'm going to double-click on this. I've got three seconds of black that I'm going to export out. I'm going to do Command-W. This will be really quick to export this out. I'm going to go QuickTime. I'm going to go ProRes. Uh, this is the 2K one, so I'm just going to go ProRes Proxy with this, just to replace it in my timeline. I'm going to uncheck the audio. We do not need audio. And I'm going to do, instead of the entire clip, I'm going to do clip in and out, which is the three seconds. I'm going to choose a location here. And of course, I'm going to, and of course, I'm going to put that in my proxy uh, folder here. Black Video 2K, save that. I'm putting it in my proxies folder because of the 2K, so I'm going to export that. And now I'm going to do the 4K. Double click on that. Go to three seconds, three period enter, put over out point. Actually, there's going to be three seconds. The duration with this, since it lands on three, it's going to be three se seconds in one frame. You have to do this at 259, basically. You'd have to do this at, at 223 to have it be three seconds exactly. But th th this works just fine. So I'm going to do Command M, and I uncheck export audio. I'm going to put the 4K version inside of the red footage here. I'm just going to put my black video 4K. But, oh, but these have to be the exact same name, so I'm going to make these the exact same name. It's just I'm using this to remember them right now. So I'm going to save, and I'm going to tell it to do just the clip in and out and export. So I've got those clips exported out now, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to make them, they got to be the exact same name. I know this is the 2K one because I exported it out, but now, but the replacement has to be the exact same name. So I'm going to make this one, they're just going to be called black video. But this is the 4K one because it's in the high quality, and the other one is the 2K one. So now if I want to replace these, I'm, I'm also prepping my timeline here by getting, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to import my black video that's the proxy one. I'm going to drop that into the timeline here. I'm going to copy this, go to the end, and paste it and get rid of the generator one and leave it and paste it in the video clip one. There we go. So we have black video at the beginning and end. You have to have video footage for each one of these. 